Hello guys, and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Quest XI, All Achievements Water. Now, I did end up getting the Tsunami Staff here, so I got it early in the game without having to use uh, pet powers for the rare item drop increase. So, now I don't have to come back here later in the game to try and get it. Now we're heading to Helidor Castle, and here we are! Okay, so we finally made our way here. Let's see uh, which items we have in store for us before we make our way to where we're supposed to go. So let's uh, examine here. Uh, nothing in there. Ah, we have a chest. Is it a mimic? Nope. Platinum sword. Huh. Oh, we also have some books to read in the same room here. So let's see which one this one is. Okay, this is just a normal book. This one is... Another normal book. <laughs> and we'll see what the last one is. Recipe. The devils in the details. So now we can make demon's banes, demon spears, and demon whips. And devil's tails. Okay. So make sure to grab that. Okay, so now we're just gonna head right down here. And let's see, uh, let's see on the map. Do, is there any sparky spots? Nope, no sparky spots. Okay, so I don't want to head right left yet. Uh, kind of want to keep exploring first. We came from the dungeon up above. Actually, yeah, it looks like left is the best place to go. Because it comes, it goes to a dead end. Ah, so we have more Hocus Pocus here that you guys can grind on if you like. So you don't have to wait for the two to spawn. Because they have more inside the castle. That's good. Okay, let's open this door here. Nothing. Really? Oh, we have two barrels. One's a special medicine, and that's it. No, okay, so leaving this room now. And we're gonna go all the way down here. This time. Um, I wanna kinda avoid this guy so I can get to the other end. I guess we'll have to kill him. Go with the Umbrella Blade. Perfect. Big bone. Okay, now let's go all the way down here and see what's down here. It's just a dead end. Alright. So that was pointless. But at least you guys know now. We'll go through here. What the hell is that? Even the great stairway lies in ruins. The usurper will be in the throne room, if he is anywhere. He must be found and punished, which means we must seek another way up. Okay, so let's head, um, let's see. Yeah, I kind of want to see what the hell this chick is. Is, that, is this an enemy or what? It is an enemy, what the hell? I'll try- Oh, these are Iron Maidens. I'm pretty sure that these Iron Maidens have a, a rare field version of them. And there's an item we're supposed to get from them. I- I don't need that, Henrik. I don't know what you're doing, bro. <laughs> Okay, so we want to head all the way west here. And we want to head where it says, shows this pink uh, exclamation mark. So let's examine. First, make sure there's no... Yeah, there's pause. Let's get the items first. Just to get that out of the way. Oh, it's nothing. Okay. I think it's because we've broke these pots. They look familiar. Yeah, we might have done that already. Let's examine this tree. Come, Jasper, do your worst. If you insist. Curse you, Hendrick. Brute strength wins the day again. Uh. <laughs> 
It is good to see two young men with such spirit. Huh? Mm -hmm. But I order you to cease your horseplay and greet our latest arrival. I present Princess Jade. Oh. Hmm. When you grow older, you will be the guardians of this great kingdom. I am counting on you. And now, so is she. <laughs> With my might and your wisdom, we will surely be the greatest knights this kingdom has ever seen. Long may we protect the princess and all her people. Huh? <sighs> Jasper, are you listening to me? What is this? Why, the shield of Heliodor, of course. Symbol of the kingdom's greatest knights. His majesty keeps it in his private chambers. If we are destined to become such men one day, one of us will surely wear it. I would very much like to see it, wouldn't you? <laughs> and how do you propose to do that? One cannot simply stroll into the king's chambers uninvited. Oh, I have my ways. I just so happen to spy a certain someone treating himself to a midnight feast in the kitchens. Huh? None other than his royal majesty. He slithered out of a secret passage behind a cupboard and set about the leftovers. That passage must lead to his chambers. <laughs> you devil! You've solved the mystery of his bulging belly. The queen will make you an earl for such a service to the kingdom. We meet in the kitchen at midnight, agreed? Agreed. Of course. The passage to the King's Chambers. But... what was that? A vision? A dream? So this is your power, Luminary? Y you are able to draw on the memories amassed within the World Tree? To pry into others' pasts. Very impressive. The kitchen is on the north side of the castle, beyond the banqueting hall. Come. Okay, so let's leave this area now. Gonna look for more items before we continue. Okay, so make sure you guys head right to the kitchen. It's right marked on your map. And that's where we're gonna continue next. Okay, so here we are, the kitchen. This, um, I think this might be it right here. Try moving it, yes. I did not make it here that night, you know. I was caught trying to slip out of my chambers. The king made me polish all the armor in the castle. Jasper was disgusted with me. We had a furious argument. We had so many in those days. But there was more happiness than strife. Life was simple. We had a purpose. We would have stood together in defense of Heliodor no matter what. I have treated you poorly. Forgive me. Hmm. My loyalties have been tested, but not by you. Whatever lies ahead, we must face it together. 
with <sighs> Okay, so let's head on up. Next area. Let's search this cabinet right in front of us and leather cape. I should check that out in a second. But first we have some books here. Recipe book, a recipe book of uh, regal regalia. And now we can make king axes, king's coats, and queen's robes. Now though, is this one a recipe as well? Oh, that would have been nice. <laughs> so a leather cape can be worn by Eric and Savando. Now let's open the door and let's go to the next area. We'll go right across here and let's see what's over here. We have another book. Let's open this chest here. And we get a recipe book, Little Lifesavers. Now we can make care rings, rings of riddance, rings of immunity, rings of truth, full moon rings, rousing rings, rings of clarity, sorcerer's rings, sorcerer's stones. Wow, that's a lot of stuff from that one recipe, holy crap. Oh man, we have a lot of stuff to master. And that's gonna be Marquess's mittens. Okay, so it looks like that's all that's here. We got some more Iron Maidens here if you guys want to try and get that rare field. Sage's Elixir. So do not enter the throne room yet. Actually, we're gonna go right down here first. And explore right down. Make sure that- okay, there's no sparkly spots or anything. Ah, uh, this leads right back to that er other area. But now we can go right up here and explore these uh, two rooms. Actually, this is right near the entrance. Now we can grab that chest that we couldn't grab before. But first, let's grab this book, see if... Okay, no recipe, so we can open a wardrobe next. Get an item in here. Well, no? Okay, so there's nothing in this room, so let's go to the next room. This is that room where I think that chest was... that we couldn't get to at the beginning of the... Yes, this is it. That's a gold bar, okay. And this, I think we rated all this stuff before when we first came to Helidor Castle. So yeah, this is all... All rated already. So we can leave this area. Okay, so before we enter the throne room, let's head right upstairs. And remember, there's an item up here that I forgot to get. So we're gonna grab that first. We're gonna keep going all the way around. I don't think this is anything. No, I grabbed all the pots. Now we want to go through this door here. Okay, so I think this was the new part of the area. I think that I missed out on. I don't... maybe? Yep, the Seat of Therapeusis. Now I can't remember if there's a mini metal in here. Okay, so we don't have this work as well. So let's grab that. That's uh, Dressilian Souverine. Okay, so I'm just heading right back down the stairs where the uh, throne room was. So. I think there's a boss fight, but... So, what I'm, I'm gonna do just in case is use some magic water here. Just heal my MP up a little bit. Because I have quite a few of those still. I have to buy some more better, better ones though. Because those only heal like 3 MP. Or something like that. You have done well to make it here, old friend. And with the darkspawn in tow, no less. Oh, bravo. Jasper. Temper, temper. Brute force may have won the day once upon a time. But things are very different now. Why? Why did you give yourself to the darkness? What of our pact? We swore fealty to Heliodor. We promised to protect the kingdom, together! Why? You 
of all people ask me why? <laughs> Does something amuse you, traitor? It is I who must ask you why, surely. Why is it that you always thought yourself so much better than me? Why was it always you who was given the golden opportunities? Why was it always you who got just what you wanted? Why? Hmm? Tell me why! <laughs> well, no more. I will be second best no longer. I know the truth now. Love, dreams, light, friendship, all these count for naught. All that matters is power. And the only power that matters is that of the darkness. There is one who sees the worth in me who deserves my fealty, who gives me the power I crave. And all who stand in his way must be destroyed! I lost my hometown, my family my friends, all to the dark power that you serve. I lost my faith, my purpose. Though some called me hero, I believed I was a fraud and that I was powerless to protect them. But I can protect them. I must. And there is one I must protect above all others. It is the Luminary's duty to deliver the world from evil. And it is my duty to protect him. Jasper, you are a traitor to your kingdom, a servant of evil, and a threat to the servant of light. I sentence you to death. <laughs> really, old friend? Forgive me if I do not begin quaking just yet. Now let us end this farce. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> You will outdo me no longer, Hendrik. This time it is I who have been chosen, and you who will fade into obscurity. <laughs> Worm! 
Bones. I am Tyrion, servant of the Lord of Shadows and proud bearer of the title of Spectral Sentinel. You would return the world to brightness? Ah, fools! Ah, wretches! The time of light is no more! The age of darkness looms! All is as the Lord of Shadows wills it! As long as I yet live, the dawn shall not return to this place! Now, step forward, friends! Eternal night awaits! <laughs> Okay, we finally have a boss fight here. Holy crap. Well, I'm gonna start off by using Unbridled Blade. 345 damage. Sword Stance. Chance of parent attacks increase. Oh. Maybe I should uh, increase my parry attacks as well. Let's see here. I'm gonna go Great Sword Guard. Increase my parry attacks. Because this guy looks like he's all Nelly. Hmm. Okay, let's go on Battle Blade. We'll see if he parries it. No. I think we're off to a good start. Yeah, I come buff. There you go. You should have used that first. That should have been the first thing you used. Zamel. Shit. 80 dead. Okay. I am just gonna use more heal on myself. There we go. Oh, he returned to normal. So that's good. Oh, he just do. He just made a decoy of himself, I think. Well, we're just gonna go after the main one. Yeah. Just keep pummeling the main one. Okay, so one brother blade on top. He's getting weaker, but that's good. Yes, this is actually going pretty good. Oh no, he's powered up Pepe! Magic water? Okay, thanks Henrik, I guess. At least they're attacking Henrik, because Henrik can absorb all the damage. And I just I can just uh, deal all the damage, so it works out really well. Oh, there it is. So that's not too bad of a boss fight after all. 10,500 experience. That's a lot of experience in gold. <laughs> no! My, my darling darkness! Do not leave me! Do not let the light prevail! Obsidian, thank the heavens I have one truly faithful friend. The darkness may have dissipated, but we cannot know what toll the battle took. We must return to the last bastion and see what, if anything, remains. Okay, so before I before I end a walkthrough, I'm just gonna head right down to the last bastion, which is all the way straight down south from here. Actually, we can get there faster if we teleport to the bonfire and then pick our horse up. So what I'm gonna do is teleport to Teleodori. Oh, it looks like I have to get all my teleports all over again. Really? All right, I'm gonna head right down to the 
campfire to make sure I have it. Okay, so here I am on the map. I'm right in the middle of the campfire here. And the last bastion is all the way down south of me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rest up, save my game, and we're going to start our journey off in the next episode. So I'm going to end this episode right here, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.